Okay, so we're the Barons. We're gonna um, we're gonna speak to the blacksmith about uh, this shield that we found at the Shady West Inn, and he's over on the Hunter Rise. He's good. Thunder Bluff. I actually really like Thunder Bluff. It's one of my favourite. It's my favourite, in fact, Horde City. Uh, if I could, I would live over here. In game, that is. I'm not that retarded, but uh, <laughs> I would live uh, here all the time. But uh, you can't really mm -hmm. calculate them because the portals oh. are in Orgrimmar. But it's it's much better. It's a much quieter, compact city than Orgrimmar. Uh, right. Uh, you should. S yes, you're certainly correct. That is a shield I made. I'm afraid there's not much more I can tell you, though, Sheppy. I crafted so many different shields and sets of armor. I can't keep track of them all. I hope I've been helpful to you, and I'm sorry I can't offer more information. My apprentices and I produce such a large volume of arms and armour that it is almost impossible to recall details about any individual piece. Not only do we outfit the Braves defending the Tauren lands, but the Grim Totems have a particular fondness for my work. A seasoned warrior knows good work when he sees it. Speak with Krog back at Brackenwall Village. And we'll be able to pick from a Crimson Barbot, which... That is another model I have never seen in game, and that is also pretty awesome. Uh, or the Flesh Ripper, which I think is pretty standard dagger. Ancestors. So they've had us fly all the way over here, and uh, for not much, really. Well, there's a quest here. What's what this quest? Deadmire is an ancient crocolisk in Dustwater Marsh, and it is his time to die. Well. I can't really argue with that. Although it doesn't particularly seem fair that we just supposedly kill something because he's old. I'm pretty old. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> I've only got one life in the Iron Man Challenge. Okay, have any of our things sold? Uh, they've not. Right, so... Let's continue playing on. I now have to fly all the way back to um, the Swallow Marsh, which is a bit of a pain. And we're going to go to, I guess, there. So you can look at my ugly mug whilst we fly. So we're back in Brackenwall Village. We've got a quest to hand in with Krog. So let's do that. He actually said that the Grim Totems are his biggest customers. Moson gave us more help than he knows with this much. Pointing towards the Grim Totems, I think we just found our first suspects. Okay, we'll get a nice little helmet for that that we can't wear. And um, a couple of Grim Totem related quests. I think I mentioned it in the previous video. Maybe the video before that. But uh, the Grim Totems uh, are going to get what's coming to them. Um, so we've gleaned as much as we can from the ruins of the inn. I'm concerned about where I'm the investigation will lead from here. But we must know the truth. Between the hoof prints and the shirt with Mazan's mark, I'm led to believe that the Grim Totems may have been involved. They've recently established a settlement in the swamp Blackhoof village to the northeast. Travel to the village and search for more arms of Mozan's manufacture. So we need to collect seven of those. And also the Grim Totem plot with the activities of the Grim Totem and in Thousand Needles brought to light many Tauren now regard them with suspicion. We've seen high ranking Grim Totems engage in murder and kidnapping to advance their interests and I fear we may become their next target. Blackhoof village to the northeast near Bluefen 
is a large new grim totem grim totem settlement their leaders the elders will all have orders from thunder bluff see if you can capture the orders and place them together together to learn uh, the grim totem's plans <coughs> excuse me so we need to collect four of those from the elders so uh that's all the way to the north so I guess uh, let's go and do that. Okay, so we're here at the uh, Grim, Grim Totem camp, and basically we've got to search out some elders. What's going on? I had a bit of a, a, bit of a brain fart. I forgot how to play. So my cat um, doesn't seem to be doing much. For some reason, his uh, the attack put me into attack mode is missing off the pet bar. I'm not sure what happened to that, but uh, subsequently he keeps uh, going into passive mode, <laughs> and I keep getting hit in the face. It's not ideal. It's the kind of thing that would lead into uh, a sticky situation if I'm not careful. Obviously, I'm voicing this over after I've recorded it and you know, I'm looking back. And it's easy to spot now what's going wrong, but at the time, it seemed to have got a bit retarded. We're also picking up these armaments as well to basically see if the, uh, they look any. Uh, anything like the black shield that we've spotted at uh, the Shady West Inn. There you go, my cat keeps getting hit. I've I think I've realised now. Where the hell is it? Uh, we'll put it on to assist. Hopefully I'm not going to get hit in the face. Um, now also, around this zone, there's lots of camped out raptors. You'll see some up there. There's about three or four in a pack. There's a number of these packs about, and... Uh, it's a bit odd, but I think there's a quest that leads on to this at a later point. <coughs> so I think to attack the Grim Totems, instead of doing it ourselves, which is a normal thing in World of Warcraft, to kill 800 Grim Totem Breakers, for example, uh, what we're going to do, I think, is uh, torment the Raptors to come and basically make them attack. But that'll come later. At the minute, we're seeking out these armaments and uh, I did an over the shoulder shot there, did you see that? Oh, that was pretty amazing. Um, and also, I think Elders is it we're looking for? But in the meantime, we're dinged. 51. There's a guy sleeping there, but you know, let's just kill him. <laughs> Although, hey, it does make me laugh out in World of Warcraft. When someone is asleep and you attack them, they, they immediately wake up and go into a offensive. They should kind of freak out for a little bit. It's the same as anybody does when you wake them up, especially with an arrow to the crotch. They're going to freak out for a little bit first. Maybe go a bit blessed. Maybe even go into enrage. That's probably a good idea. Okay, let's put it into fast forward whilst we complete off the rest of this quest. It's not that challenging. I like I say, I'm a little bit worried about those raptors at the outside, but realistically, uh, they're not going to cause us any problem because they're tucked away. So we've got a note. I'm not sure how many notes we needed to get, collect, actually. I think it might be three. So, uh, let's kill off. I think we just need one more. Okay, so that's that done. We're going to head back to base and hand those two quests in. Again, no challenge. Uh, for a moment there when I was being a bit retarded with my pet bar, I was taking a bit of a beating, but nothing too strenuous. This is unmistakably the work of Mosan. Quest dream further may draw too much attention, but we have a bit more freedom in dealing with the Grim Totems. Strength. Okay, easy. Uh, there's brother who we saw earlier. 
Uh, and Grim Totem plot. There is no doubt in my mind that the Grim Totems are moving against the humans. What I don't understand is what their intentions are towards us. We knew nothing of these plans, and we lost a good man because of it. I don't trust that we're not next on their list. Yes, uncertainty is never good. Seek out Tabitha. So we don't need to read that, but we know where Tabitha is. She's all the way over there. And uh, that's good, because we have a quest near there as well. So let's get on to that. It's obviously a bit quicker for us to fly over there than, uh, than walk all the way over there. And uh, we're going to go and get Dreadmire first, I think. That was the crocodile quest that we picked up from Thunderbluff. So let's go and get him. I'm not sure where we have that quest in, actually. Hopefully it's not back at Thunderbluff. I don't really fancy having to fly all the way over there just for a couple of thousand XP. But other than that, we're starting to make a good headway in this zone. We've almost finished it, I think. There's just some quests in the bottom south to do with the uh, Anixis Brood. Not sure what level those mobs are around there, around the entrance to the old raid, but they used to be level 60 plus. So uh, obviously we can't deal with those. Hopefully it's more around 40. Not these slimes, we don't need to fight them. There he is. Albino crocodile. I don't know why I'm trying to pull as many slimes as possible, but uh, that's exactly what I have done. In the meantime, Dreadmire's getting away. Come back. He's the same level as us, but he's no match for criticism. And my bow. I am doing something. It's not all my cat, obviously. Lol. And yeah, we're just going to head back to Tabitha. And I think we'll call it there. It's quite a short episode today. Um, trying to keep them relatively short, because I know it can be a bit... It's a bit full-on when we've got lots of fast-forwarding and, and whatnot. But uh, we'll see you next time. We'll take up the, the quest against the Grim Totem then. Krog wishes me to scry for the Grim Totems there. Well, I have no need of magic in this case. It seems we have a mutual enemy. The Grim Totems have built an outpost nearby and are a constant thorn in the side of me and my students. Take this torch and raise their camp to the ground. You'll find a dire horn just to the north of my farm near the road. You can't miss it really, as the Grim Totems have done a splendid job announcing their presence with those totems they favour. Use Tabitha's torch to burn the north tent, east tent, north, east tent at Direhorn Post. So we'll do that in the next episode. See you then. Safe travels. <laughs>